Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Let's learn with a mechanical engineer. So today we are going to design a model of 5S. This is the model that is there on the screen. It's pretty simple. So let's begin with the design. Before this guys, if you like my video then please please subscribe and give a thumbs up. So let's begin. Select the front plane, select the rectangle, give a smart dimension as 58.57, okay, and vertical distance as 123.83, okay, I'll just trim it of this thing, so let me use. Uh, now give the fillet the fillet dimension is 9.5 mm let me tell you friends this is the actual value of a 5s model this is a blueprint design of 5s ok so now let's extrude extrude uh, we are going to extrude it from the middle plane for 7.6 mm ok done so this, this is the basic now now we'll sketch on this plane this will be the front face into two normal okay so let's design the button the center button of iphone 5s draw two concentric circles smart dimensions dimension of outer circle being 9.30 and dimension of inner one being 9.30 Sorry, it's just wait. Yeah, yeah. The outer one dimension is nine ten. I'm sorry. Uh, the outer dimension is ten point nine zero, and the uh, inner one is ten point three zero point five mm gap, and. This concentric circles dimension from the base is 9.15 and secondly let's make it vertical yeah now it's fully defined I guess like vertical yeah fully defined now the extra extrude cut by 0.5 mm 0.5 mm so this forms your iPhone button so now let's just thin extrude the sides select the front plane sketch uh, what I am supposed to do is open the sketch of the boss extrude and convert entities so the sketch you can see it is converted on the edges now what we are going to do is feature extrude select the feature uh, select this thin feature has to be 0.3 mm Okay, what is this? I'll show you it uh, again through the middle plane by 6 mm. Okay, yes. So, can you see it? This there is a thickness of 0.3 mm, that is a thin, thin feature of extrude. Okay, so now let's for let's go with the uh, volume buttons. I'll make it perpendicular first. Make two circles. One here, one here. Dimension being 4.3. Same goes to this. 4.3. And the vertical distance from here to here it is 30.93. And this with this is forty one point two two. This is the actual dimension guys. Okay, and what I'm doing is just make it vertical with this. Yes. Yes, so I actually it is in the center now. Okay. Now just extrude it by point five mm. Okay, 
so these are the buttons now let's design the silent button of uh, iPhone it goes something like this or it okay I'll select the center one only okay smart dimension uh, dimension is 2 point this thing is 2.22 and the length is 5.705.70 let me remind you where these are the actual dimension and not assume I just took it from the blueprint of 5s and I'm doing it the stream it of this thing okay Wait. Uh, again draw one more take one more rectangle Wait. Uh, I'll take this one yeah Okay, so now just take the fillet, 0.5 my fillet. Okay, I even need to fillet this thing. Wait, this thing is. So this is the this is done now. Uh, let's dimension it from the above body. Mm, it is okay. So let's continue. Uh, the vertical dimension here till like any point is. 16.86 and uh, this distance is 2.45 2.45 okay done now just uh, take an extrude cut make sure the cut is of this thing yeah by 0.5 mm okay now again sketch on it okay the extrude cut sketch make it convert entities again go to features extrude extrude the left one this is the actual button by 0.63 done see this is what is done now Okay, now let's go for the top main button, lock button. So take this thing. Let's go how let's see how it actually goes. The whole dimension is 9.5 and its distance from the end is 9.80 distance from this end is 9.0 I'm sorry yeah, from here to uh, here till my dear friends okay, till here yeah. this distance is 9.80 actually it's on the left hand side yeah cool and just align this thing with this Just make it horizontal. Done. Horizontal. Yeah. Now just extrude it by point five again. 
0.63 okay so this is the button now let's form the screen just make perpendicular yeah okay so i'll take again i'll take the rectangle something like this smart dimension so this thing is 51 point i'll use a split curve and going to separate the screen let's see 51.70 and this thing is 90.39 90.39 and the distance of this from the base is 16.72 okay wait i guess there's some issue let's delete this thing yeah now the distance from the base is oh sixteen point seven two yeah now just go to the curves and yeah, exit sketch curve split line use a recent curve and select the face okay so now can you see this is different this is a different face okay similarly do it on the back side but make sure you do it on the top plane because we need to again do convert entities okay, i'll show you uh, with the main sketch main sketch convert entity now you can see the sketch is formed again okay so i'll show you why did I, why do i did this i can draw one more line horizontal what i what i'm doing is just take distance 11.60 same goes to this 11.60 okay so now i want to trim it unnecessary trim trim unnecessary parts trim so now what i did is again i drew this sketch again this sketch now again i'm going to exit the sketch and again curve split line curve sketch line select the face yes see can you see it? this is the difference okay so let's do some appearance now So let's go to the color, black color, not to the whole phone, only the top part. Yeah. Color to black color. Wait. This one black. Same goes over here, and same goes to this side. Okay. So now, can you see it? Yes. Now, what I want you guys to do is just import the picture tools. I'll show you sketch tools. Wait. Uh, just uh, turn on the sketch tools import picture uh, sketch tool sketch picture take this thing i just downloaded from the net and the distance this thing is 51.70 and this thing is 90.39 i'm just adding the vertical distance onto this i'll just again go to front one just placing it over here okay so this from my screen and now similarly i'm going to exit this sketch and again go on this sketch sketch again go to tools sketch tools get sketch area this is what i got it from the net i downloaded it so please download and do things 58.57 as you know the other dimensions already and this thing will be 123.83 the total height 
minus 11.6 minus 11.6 100.63 because we are supposed to leave this upper face and the lower face and fix on it this way I just increase this thing 57.58 Yes. So just keep it. Yeah. Good. Done. So this is the basic design of FIFO. I didn't do this thing base, which you can do it on yourself. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.